<laughs> oh man, how long has it been? Maybe like three, four months since my last video, obviously because it's been cold and it's just now getting warmer. But today, we're back with the first new video of the year. I am so excited. Uh, it's nothing e-bike related. I mean, it's electric vehicle related, as you can see, it's a scooter, but I'm actually excited about this one because my first scooter was very powerful, too, much, too powerful for me, in my opinion. This one, I actually feel more comfortable with. So let's go ahead, unbox this, assemble it, and take the first look for me at the In Motion Climber electric scooter. So as I'm unboxing this scooter, uh, it's been a while guys. How have you been? I don't think we've spoken really since the holiday season or even before that. Oh, of course, if I just read the instructions. So take out the inner train scooter, connect the wires, unfold the stem, assemble the kickstand, and then tighten the screws. So pretty straightforward. So like I mentioned, this is not my first electric scooter. My first one I actually gave to one of my friends just cause he wanted to get into the electric vehicle world a little bit. Uh, and plus for me, it was a little bit way overpowered. Like I never personally felt safe on that thing. Uh, looks like in here they have a, I don't know how well you guys can see it from so far away. I'm rusty at filming videos, okay? I don't know what's in frame and what's not anymore. Got a toolbox with a power adapter. Personally, I think it's really cool when like companies provide toolkits for their products. We've got the kickstand, we have the hex key, uh, another hex key, the power cable adapter, and a couple of mini bolts and wrenches. Put that off to the side for now. Also have in here somewhere is the power adapter. Just your standard brick. Uh, in case anyone's curious, it says input between 100 and 240 volts at 2.5 amps. Science, if you're curious, there you go. I really should have learned how to comprehend all that stuff. Okay, let's see how heavy this is. Oh, okay, almost broke it right there just by just bending it up. Okay. Okay, not the heaviest thing in the world. Oh God, does anyone else hate that styrofoam sound or is that just a me thing? Okay, you know what? While we have the scooter out of the box like this, let me go ahead and put the kickstand on so that way it's not just lying flat on its side or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure the kickstand is on this side. Kickstand is on the, what is that? The left side? Left side towards the front. Oh, it's under the actual deck. I feel it. Yep, there's two holes right there. Okay, so if the kickstand like that, that, and then when you kick it, ah, I see. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here for the tools. That looks to be it. Don't screw it all the way. Friendly reminder, just a little bit in case you have any issues. There. Well, well, okay. There we go. Just tighten it enough so it stays in and then go all the way to secure it. Boom. I don't know if this kickstand is getting in my way of turning it or not, but nope, I think we're good. Okay, now let's prop it back up so it's standing right. Let's just clear this out for now. And then prop her up. Easy enough, just like that. God, I hate that sound. Okay, so next, what did the box even say? I do not remember. Oh God, I hate that sound. Gotta be careful with that. Let's just leave that there for now. Am I able to slide this? Yep. And I'm guessing we use one of the other screws. 
that was in this mini kit, put it on because there's four holes here and it looks like there's four screws. Okay, maybe they included an extra one. See, look, I still got it. I still got it. I've been out of the game for a minute, but I still got it. You know, actually there was another one. Let me just do it like that instead. Just enough to get it in there. Other side. Next, we're going up top. You know, as I'm tightening these bolts, I'm looking at my bikes. I'm excited to get some miles in on these bikes, especially the fully upgraded Super 73 52 volt. I feel like I got that upgraded at like the worst time. I mean, I'm grateful for getting it done. I'm grateful for powerful lithium and handle works and everyone top of your seats for hooking everything up for me, right? But the fact that it all got done right before it got cold, I feel kind of bad because they helped me out and then for months i didn't really post anything because I, I really couldn't it was too cold for me to ride personally but just know a lot of content planned out for the bike my biggest concern before the upgrade was like the the range on it right like the super 73 battery the stock battery it's it's okay right but like the range and the power it always gave me range anxiety so now that i've upgraded this to a 52 volt 32.5 amp hour and i know i can go about 40 miles of range on a single charge it's not that I'm, I'm not worried anymore like i know i can go on more adventures and it'll be so much more fun okay so taking a look at the manual it looks like there's actually an app that you can download with the scooter as well uh now similar to other scooters if this like unlocks the full power i don't know i will definitely look into this and find out the next video uh i have a leftover two leftover screws that i haven't used i think one of them is for the locking mechanism uh you know that middle part right there i'm gonna take a look at that off camera but going off of that and just looking at the on box instructions and assembly very easy very simple to get set up and uh here is the finished scooter look i'll be honest it's not the most high-end high power dual suspension you know like all those bigger scooters out there I'm actually a fan of this type of scooter because it's very entry level. It doesn't go super fast. It's very straightforward to easy to just plug in, charge it up and get going. I don't know how well you guys can see me, but the height of the scooter, the size, it's like up to my chest, which is pretty nice. Uh, just hopping on it. I actually feel okay on it. Now I still have to charge it up and, you know, take it for a test ride and everything like that. But first impressions, I'm actually a big fan. It has a, let me bring you back on here. So it looks like it has a thumb throttle a display which i'll take off all this plastic and just one brake it looks like that is a front brake actually no i'm sorry it goes down to the front but it's a rear brake looks like there's actually tail lights as well it looks really good in my opinion i can't wait to take it for full ride okay maybe that bolt i was looking at was like an extra one for this is there any charge to it i'm curious oh there is you know what, I'm gonna leave this for the next video. This was just an unboxing and assembly and first impressions of it. I'm gonna save the plastic on it until we take it out. I'm gonna charge it up, get it to a full charge, and we'll go from there. All right, and that is the in motion climber. Uh, again, this video is just first unboxing, initial impressions, assembly, and how easy it was and straightforward. Next video, we're gonna take it out for a little ride to the neighborhood to go feed the stray cats. And yes, I still do that. Get some coffee. I don't know. I feel like just off looking at this, this is like one of those scooters that you'll definitely see people riding in the city. Uh, almost like a next step up from like those rental scooters that everyone can do off of their phone and, and whatnot that you see like the bird or the Uber scooters or whatever. But obviously this one is just a lot more cooler in my opinion. So until the next video, I'm gonna get this charged up. Uh, get some more information on it. I mean, I know all the information, but that way I know what I'm talking about as I'm riding it next video and take it for a quick spin. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you guys want to see more videos similar to this one, uh, leave a comment down below what exactly you'd want to see, maybe a product or um, a brand or anything like that. Funny thing, they initially offered to send me their electric unicycle, those like, you know, the ones that are maybe like this tall up to your knees and you're just standing on it like that. I actually declined that one because I've never been on a unicycle before, let alone an electric one. So I knew that was not going to be good for me. And I told him, like, I'll be honest, I've never been on one. I'm probably going to be terrible at reviewing it. Uh, if you got a scooter, I'm down to hook to, to work with you guys. Uh, they even have a discount code as well. So in case you guys want to get this, maybe as like a first electric vehicle for the new year for you, you want to get into the realm, but you don't want to break the bank. Uh, I'll have a code in the description down below. I think these are maybe seven or 800 bucks. I could be wrong. And then of course you save some money with my code too. 
uh, and hopefully helps you uh, helps you out, helps you get out there, get outside riding. I'm excited. Weather is getting a lot nicer. Can't wait to start riding both the scooter and my bikes. It's so good to, 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 for it to be warm again. All right, that's enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer next video. All that jazz. Peace.